Hey guys and welcome to a new news episode. So yet again a new event has been announced and this time it is the Christmas event. So let's take a look at what Neander has to say about it. Uh, this is the season to be even more jolly. The Pokemon Go holiday event is back trainers. Look forward to costume Pokemon, Ice type Pokemon, uh, new to Pokemon Go, event exclusive field research, after items and the blizzard of bonuses. So uh, what is going to happen? The event is going to last from December 22nd till December 31st, um, starting at 8 a.m. local time till 10 p.m. local time. So that's what, like 10 days? Uh, Pokemon in holiday costumes. Pikachu, Delibird and Cupchu uh, are going to wear holiday themed costumes. Um, so that's three new costume Pokemon. Um, it doesn't state whether Pikachu is going to wear a new hat or if it's going to wear one of the same hats that it has done previously during Christmas. We'll have to wait and see for that. But yeah, there's going to be three uh, costumed Pokemon. Uh, assumingly, they can all be shiny. Uh, Delibird and Pikachu, of course, uh, already are shiny in the game. Uh, usually, they would put the Pokemon uh, with its shiny version as well. Uh, it's not always a guarantee, but most likely. And Cupchu is going to be released as a shiny uh, just the weekend before this event starts. So it will all also be shiny available uh, when this event is going live. So I, I assume that it would be with, uh, uh, with a costume as well shiny possible. Pokemon appearing in the wild. Delightful ice type Pokemon will be appearing more frequently in the wild. Such as Spiel, Snowfur and more. Uh, Venalite, the fresh snow Pokemon, will be making its Pokemon Go debut. So we will see the release of a new Pokemon uh, called Venalite which has two evolutions as well. Uh, no word on a new shiny here from the wild Pokemon. L a little bit surprising to me. Pokemon hatching from eggs. Seal, Swinub, Smoochum, Snorunt, Snover and Venalite will be hatching from 5km eggs. The Pokemon appearing in raid battles are going to be Alone and Sentru, Dealgong, Jinx, Sneasel, Swinub, Walrein, Cupchu and Cryogonal. Uh, definitely still quite a rare Pokemon Cryogonal will be appearing in Raids. If you're lucky, you might even encounter a Shiny Jinx. So apparently, Jinx is going to be the new Shiny for the event. Uh, not counting the costume Shinies. Um, and yeah, it will be basically a Raid Shiny. Uh, I don't know if Jinx is going to spawn at all in the wild. It might. But uh, probably your, most, uh, your best chance to get the Shiny Jinx will be to do the Raids. Or to hatch a Shiny... Um, uh, where is it? Smoochum. And then evolve it into a shiny Jinx. Um, Mega Abonso will be appearing in Mega Raids and will be even more powerful throughout the event. Uh, there's going to be event exclusive field research. Enjoy event exclusive field research tests that will reward you with the chance to encounter Pokemon like Venalite and Cryogonal. Uh, kind of they're both going to be rare Pokemon I assume. Usually the new Pokemon that's going to be released is going to be rare as well. So I would assume that this is a great opportunity to uh, get yourself these Pokemon and at the same time have a chance to be uh, to get a good IV. As you know that from the research it's always at least 10, 10, 10 IVs. So a better chance to get uh, a 100% as well. Winter themed after items coming to the shop. To help you dress up for the holiday season you can look forward to the Greedent sweater, Whimsy Scott earmuffs, winter boots and winter coat after items. Get holiday themed uh, team stickers from the Pokestops, Gifts and in the shop. You can find stickers featuring Alona Vilpix, Krogo, Wingsy Scott and more during the event. You won't be able to get these stickers after the event is over, uh, so get them while you can. Event exclusive boxes will be available in the shop during the event. Um, check out the in-game shop for mo more details uh, at that time. Event exclusive AR mapping test. Now this is an interesting one. Complete AR mapping task to earn a Boma Snow Mega Energy and encounter a Snorunt. Okay, so um, instead of giving us a Boma Snow Energy through field research task, which I have done uh, a lot, and then you ha would have to power up a certain amount of Pokemon, and you have a chance to earn uh, Mega Energy, but they don't want to take this route for the uh, Boma Snow. In fact, they want to entice you to do more AR mapping task, so they're going to reward you with uh, a Boma Snow Mega Energy by doing the AR mapping task. Bonuses. There's going to be a bunch of bonuses and um, well firstly there's one bonus that's going to stay active the whole event from December 22nd all the way till December 31st and that is open more gifts each day. You can now open up to 45 gifts, usually it would be 30, now it's going to be 45. 
And you can also carry more gifts. So usually you can carry uh, 10 or 20 gifts. Uh, Ross now going to all the way to 40. You can carry 40 gifts. Uh, so when you get home from a long grind, you can send 40 gifts to, uh, to your friends, which is great. Uh, usually it is 20. Okay, then when it comes to the other bonuses, uh, the times are a little bit strange because the first bonus is going to start at December 22nd, uh, 12 a.m., which is midnight. So basically it is starting before the event starts, the, this bonus. And it's going to last till December 23rd at midnight. Uh, then it's going to change uh, into double catch candy, which is going to last till December 25th at midnight. Then it's going to change to double star piece duration, which will end at December 27th midnight. Then it will change to uh, double lucky egg duration, which will end at December 29th midnight. And finally it will change to double catch stardust, which is going to end at December 31st at midnight. Uh, so again, the ending time is also later than the uh, event ends because the event is announced to end at 10 p.m. local time at December 31st. But this bonus is going to end uh, two times later. So the bonuses start earlier and end later apparently. But basically both uh, all of the bonuses last precisely two days. Precisely two days except for the gifts which will last the entire event. So... Um, of course, when it comes to the Stardust, uh, Double Catch Stardust might be the most interesting one. But Double Star Piece Duration is also uh, also nice. A warm up with Special Winter Weekend event. During the final weekend in December, you can look forward to a Special Winter event. Um, Saturday, December 26th and Sunday, December 27th. Reggie Ice returns to raids. Event exclusive AR mapping test rewards. Uh, to earn incense, Pokemon attracted to incense more frequently. Delibird, Snorren, Spiel, Snowfer, Kyogonal and Kapchu. Now when it comes to this special weekend, it kind of sounds the same as that um, Mr. Rhyme weekend. However, that is a different one. If we look here, that is actually from December 19th till 20th, which is also going to feature uh, more um, Kapchu being uh, attracted to the incense. And that's going to happen again during the 26th and 27th so sounds kind of similar but it is two different events okay so that's everything that we uh, have to share here about the uh, christmas event now let's look at leak duck who of course um, has made his own page about the event so here we can see uh, open up 45 gifts carry up to 40 gifts uh, here we can see the bonuses first double rate xp then double catch candy then Two times star piece duration, two times lucky egg duration, and finally two times catch stardust. We have event exclusive field research for Vanillite and Cryogonal, winter themed items, uh, st stickers, event exclusive box sets, which we don't know yet which one is going to be, and uh, the AR mapping test giving a bonus no energy. We have the spawns. We know that the custom Pokemon are Pikachu, Delibird, and Cupchu. Uh, Ice type Pokemon in the wild, the ones that are mentioned are Spiel, Snowford, and Vanillite. Of course, there should be more Pokemon spawning during this event. And here is that Fenelite family. So we have Fenelite. It will evolve into Fenelish. And finally, uh, into Fenelux. These are the events that have been... Uh, the acts that have been announced for this event. Seal, Swinup, Smoochum, Snorren, Snover, and Fenelite. And these are the raids. We have Alone Centro, Dilgong, Jinx, Sneasel, Swinup, Walrein, Cupchu, and Kryogonal. So even though Jinx is announced as a new shiny for this event... Uh, it is not necessarily a new shiny, because it was already possible to get a shiny Jinx by evolving a shiny Smoochum. Shiny Smoochum has been available in the game for a while already. However, now uh, the chance to get shiny Smoochum and Jinx have been increased during this event, as Smoochum is more likely to come from the eggs and Jinx more likely uh, from the raids. And uh, for the first time you can actually encounter a shiny Jinx. Um... We have an infographic here as well, for which you can see the special spawns as well. Uh, that special weekend with Reggie Ice, 26th, 27th. Here you can see all of the bonuses, uh, stickers, boxes, after items. These are the two research, the AR task for Mega Bonus No Energy, the costume Pokemon, and the eggs here. The new uh, Vanillite Evolution, which at the moment in the code is stated as... Uh, 25 candies, 25 candies for the first evolution and 100 for the second stage evolution. And that's everything that's going to happen for the Christmas event. So uh, 
the Ultra League has started as well and the Ultra Premier. Here are some teams from a PV Poké that you could try out. So we can see the top performers here. We can see it SK Voyer, Clefable, Sirfetch, Lepras, Aboma Snow, Swampert, Alolan Muck, Twangrove, Tokekiss, Machamp, Aparos and Toxicroak are the best performers. Uh, you can see the moveset as well. It is uh, noted with a couple of um, uh, letters. So for example, Tangrove is going to be Vine Whip plus um, Power Whip, I believe. And RS is probably Rock Slide. If you want to know the, the whole name, you can go to PV Poke. You can go to uh, the rating. You simply click on Rankings. Then you will have to go to Ultra League. Oh, Ultra League here. And if you want, you can uh, do for the Premier Cup instead. And then you can, for example, uh, look uh, what is the best moveset on Gallade. And then you will see it is Confusion, co Close Combat and Leaf Blade is the best moveset. And you can see here uh, how well they are performing. You definitely want Confusion, it is much stronger than Charm. And Close Combat and Leaf Blade are the best options. You could try out Synchronoise, but it's not as good. So uh, yeah, this is the way to find out which is the best moveset for, the, uh, for these Pokemon. Uh, let me see here. And here we can see some team compositions. So for example, Tangrove, Charizard and Surfetch uh, is a very solid team for the Ultra Premier League. And we can see some other teams here with Drifblim, Snorlax and Taplosion. So you can try any of these teams out to see if that works for you. Uh, maybe you have, uh, for example, maybe you have a Gallade, Electifier and Tangrove. You can try to make that team work. Uh, we also have the Ultra League, which is here. And you can see here some teams that are working well in the Ultra League, like Empoleon, Giratina Altered and Tokekiss, for example. Or if you want to try out your Shadow Machamp, you can combine it with Articuno and Cresselia. And there are plenty of teams in which Swampert is very strong as well. So if you have a Swampert, you can try to figure out which two other Pokemon you have. Maybe you have an Articuno and a Cresselia, then you can go for that team. Uh, here's another uh, optional team here by Do Technical. Uh, which is a very solid PvP player, and he has been having a lot of success with Empoleon, Gallade, and Toxicroak. So that's something you might want to try out as well. Toxicroak, Lepros, and Empoleon is working well too. And here you can see uh, how many fast moves it takes for some of the most important Pokémon to get to their charge attack. This is for the Ultra League specifically. So you can see for Registeel it would take 14 lock-ons to get a Flash Cannon, and 15 to get a Focus Blast, for example. Okay, we have new information about uh, the Starbucks partnership in select Asian countries. So here's the official message. And we can see that uh, for Pokemon Go trainers in Hong Kong, Indonesia, the Philippines, Singapore and Thailand, uh, Starbucks will be, uh, some Starbucks will become Pokestops and gyms. So you will have uh, a chance there to get more items. Okay, the rate reward test that was going to happen uh, still isn't activated in the UK. So uh, the moment that the egg test went live, which is at the moment going on, uh, the raid test would also uh, become active in the UK and uh, Ireland, I believe. But they haven't started it yet. So they it should have gone live like five days ago, but it still hasn't started, which is a bit strange. Um, they've also still not activated the Adventure Sync uh, uh, rewards. So probably two things that Niantic have uh, forgotten. Then the Picnicker Metal Mechanics. So it seems that for the Picnicker Medal, um, it does not count um, the Pokemon that other people have caught from your lure. So you might have looked at the medal and it states um, that it counts the amount of Pokemon that other people have caught on your lure. But it seems to be inaccurate because that's not the case. If you activate the lure and other people catch from your lure, it does not count towards your progress. In fact, it only counts if you catch Pokemon from your own lure or from somebody else's lure and you have to do it uh, by hand so not using a go plus kind of device if you catch pokemon from lures with a go plus kind of device it does not register so the only way you can get this uh, batch working is if you catch pokemon from your own lure or from another lure uh, and you catch it by hand not using a go plus device finally uh, pikachu spotlight hour is happening this evening uh, Pikachu with the Explorer hat is uh, a potential shiny and it will also grant us double catch candy. So if you already uh, are able to complete the Celebi and you have been able to get two Team Go Rockets, uh, Jesse and James, 
Then you can decide to catch the Celebi during the spotlight hour for double candy. I would also advise to use a silver pineapple because it should grant you one extra candy compared to the six that this person is getting. It should get you seven instead. And that's everything I want to share for today. So when another new event is going to be announced or something major, I will make a new episode and I will see you then.